Let's start in with this IV stuff where you have a machine. Once again, anytime, every time you have a machine, an infusion pump, infusion controller, syringe pump, something like this, any machine, you gotta find milliliters per hour. Now I'm gonna try to make this hard, but that won't be easy. This is pretty simple stuff. Well, it gets a little more complicated, but let's start real simple. And now it can be worded in all kinds of ways. You'll see that in the homework, and I'll discuss that more later, but let's say you're supposed to give a thousand milliliters of some kind of IV fluid, and you're supposed to give it for 10 hours. We need to find out milliliters per hour. Hey, of course, per means divided by. I take a thousand milliliters, and I divide it by the number of hours, 10. Well, my goodness. You shouldn't even need your calculator for that. Remember this canceling zero thing? Some of y'all got used to that. You can do it here too, where this zero here cancels that zero. And what's the answer? A hundred. I'm gonna punch into my machine the number 100. Because as I, I keep saying, all these machines, every one of them, you have to punch in, hey, they have a little keypad. You gotta punch in a number, and the number you punch in is 100, because it's gonna ask for how many milliliters per hour. Of course, if you don't like the canceling zero, you take a thousand, divide it by 10, you get a hundred. That's it. But well, there's more to it than this. How about another one? Now, something else too. In the book, to make these look like a real world kind of problem, they'll tell you what kind of IV fluid. There's all kinds of IV fluids. There's normal saline, and there's D5W, and there's lactated ringers, and there's ringer lactate, and there's all kinds of words. Okay. In fact, some of these, the fluids themselves, have a number in them. You may see a 0.9 percent NACL or something. Well, that number doesn't come up here. That's just the name of the fluid. So be careful that you don't confuse a number that's in the name of the fluid with the numbers you need for the calculations. So you don't have to memorize what all these different IV fluids are. Just know if it says give 500 milliliters of D5W or 500 milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride, you're going to give how much? 500 milliliters. So there's the 500, that's the, that's how many milliliters I've got. Over how many hours am I giving it? Six, I divide by six hours. Well, we take the number 500 and we divide that, whoops, 500 divided by six. And the answer is, ooh, 83.33333. So it comes out 83.33. Repeating three. Now we have a new rounding off rule. And some of y'all, I'm gonna get on to you again. After weeks and weeks and weeks, some of y'all still are not doing the rounding off correctly. For prior stuff, for injections, oral stuff, what are our rounding off rules? If it's more than one milliliter, you round off to tenths, one decimal place. If it's less than one milliliter, you round off to hundreds, two decimal places. But now here we have a new rounding off rule. It's real simple. Nearest whole number. Round these off to the nearest whole number. Well, the nearest whole number is 83. That's a lousy looking eight. I know that. Answer is 83. Now, what if you had put, he said, well, it's more than one, and round off to 83.3? No, for the IV things, you round off to the nearest whole number. Very simple, 83. So, in your machine, you punch in the number 83. Hey, a lot of these machines will not even allow you to punch in anything except a whole number. So, that's why you round off to whole numbers, 83. Meaning, if you give the patient 83 milliliters every hour that goes by, at the end of the six hour time, your 500 milliliter bag of IV fluid is gone. Bang, there it is. Oh, what about this one? 1.5 liters for 12 hours. Well, now wait a minute. We need milliliters per hour. 
We don't want liters. So don't take 1.5 and divide by some. We have to convert 1.5 liters into milliliters. Now you've done this along the way. You should have this indelibly etched in the gray matter of your brain. This little jump in left and right kind of thing, converting metric to metric. Liters is here. Milliliters over there. To go from liters to milliliters, you move how many places? Which way? Three to the right. So we take this, yeah, 1.5, go one, two, three, that's 1,500. You should know this by now. So I need to take, well, I have 1,500 milliliters, and I'm going to give it for 12 hours. Well, I do some simple math here on my hand and dandy cat. And now, by the way, this calculator is illegal. I mean, for you it is. I'm the boss. I do what I want to. Plus, I'm only using four little things, add, subtract, multiply, divide. So I'm okay. I'm legal in this case. You can't use one of those. I'll take 1,500. It's called executive privilege. 1,500 divided by 12. And the answer is 125. Exactly. No rounding off at all. I give 125 milliliters per hour. I punch in one, two, five on my machine, bang o. And if I give 125 milliliters per hour to this patient, after 12 hours have gone by, my 1.5 liter bag, boop, is gone. It's empty. You got this. Well, now we have other things to talk about, a little more complicated. One thing you'll see in the book, and it's a good thing to do, they'll give you something like, uh, oh, uh, 800 milliliters, and you're starting this at 0800 and ending this at 0, I want to say, ending it at um, 1300. There we go. What a sloppy piece of junk. I know what you're thinking. Why don't they hire some competent teachers around this place to teach these classes? I don't know. They hired this Dudley guy. So I start at 0800. I'm going to end this at 1300. <laughs> How long is that? How many hours is that? Like eight, nine, ten, eleven, four. That's five hours. Hey, remember this stuff about military time? Yeah, okay. So I'm doing this for five hours. So I'm taking 800. Oh, I've got 800 milliliters. I'm doing it for five hours. Well, what is 800 divided by five? Why, it's 160. I'm gonna give 160. Can you see it down there? 160, I'm be way below there, I'm so sorry. I give 160 milliliters per hour. I'm getting sloppier as I go. I better stop this and do another one. I go get, get some Dr. Pepper, refresh myself, and, and uh, stop making these dumb mistakes and looking stupid. I'm not sure I can stop looking stupid. Okay, so we got a lot more to go, a lot of variations of this, but all you do is you take the number of milliliters, you divide by the number of hours in which you're giving it, and that's what you do anytime and every time you have a machine with which to give your IV fluid.